Hey, what is going on, guys? It is the SS Ultimate Goku uh, back with another video. And, um, so I found this out and I thought it was quite interesting. Um, a bit of news uh, that ATMT is trying to sell Rooster Teeth. Um, this really doesn't surprise me. Uh, because of a lot of the stuff that's been going on the past couple of years with uh, Rooster Teeth as a company. And um, I have the source in the description. Um, I am very curious to see who would actually buy this property. Um, then again, we just recently seen uh, Sony Pictures shell out like close to a billion dollars. Uh, was it $1.2 billion for a goddamn... Uh, crunchy roll, which I still am floored by that. It makes no financial sense. Financial sense uh, when you're taking into account of you know it being a niche anime fan base and you know not a general fan base. Um, but it might be rejected anyways because the Justice Department uh, is taking a look at it. Uh, and we'll find that out in another six months. Uh, but I find this even more interesting because, first of all, if I if if this is bought for like seventy million or, I mean, if if this is bought for twenty, if Rooster Teeth is bought for twenty million, I'll flip over because I I I, I honestly don't see the value in it. Um. So I was looking at a couple of the numbers that they were showing, uh, and they even said that um, Rooster Teeth has struggled in revenue. Like it was at 50, it was at uh, fifty uh, million in uh, two thousand nineteen. Again, this is the year before the pandemic, uh, and the year before that in twenty eighteen, it was at seventy million. Um, So, it's dropped. And again, keep in mind that was 2019. So, in 2020, they had the goddamn pandemic, which probably dipped their sales even more. Um, so, I can't even see this property uh, getting even close to $50 million. But then again, the way, uh, you know, the sale was with Crunchyroll, I'm... I'm I just I just don't even get where people are coming from when it comes to these companies. But uh, AT&T is selling it, uh, and that's quite interesting because obviously, as we all know, that AT&T uh, owns Warner Brothers, uh, which also means they own Warner Brothers in Japan. For everybody who doesn't know, uh, Warner Brothers in Japan actually does the dub for uh, Ruby in Japan. Uh, so. It is quite interesting to see that even then they're giving up on it. Uh, they're giving up on it. Um, it will be very interesting to see what the Japanese version of Ruby does about this, uh, since they're kind of tied into this as well, too. Um, but... I'm going to be completely honest with you. I don't think any company is going to buy it. Uh, Rooster Teeth. I'll be shocked. Okay, uh, Sony Pictures just tried to buy Crunchyroll. I doubt they're going to try to invest in another property from AT&T right now uh, because they're trying to get the sale completed with Crunchyroll right now, uh, which, again, the Justice Department is reviewing it in about... It's going to be reviewed for another six months. See what they're, uh, you know, going to give an answer on it. Hopefully, they... Uh, you know, reject it and, you know, and deem it a monopoly, so, uh, that will end that whole deal, but we'll have to wait and find out about that. Uh, in the meantime, uh, Rooster Teeth, uh, I can't see Sony Pictures trying to buy it. Um, there really isn't that many options, uh, for, um, uh, Rooster Teeth. Um, because, one, Rooster Teeth is not really that well-known. I know a lot of people are going to say that that's not a really good statement on my part, but uh, it really isn't. I mean, when you think of Rooster Teeth, 
literally the only thing that comes to the general population's mind is Ruby. Like, literally, like, no one's going to even know what Rooster Teeth is. Some people don't even realize that Rooster Teeth are the ones that create Ruby. Like, people will know what Ruby is, but people won't even know about Rooster Teeth. Because most people really kind of tie in Rooster Teeth with Ruby. Because Ruby has become such a big show. Uh, you know, it's, you know, got its own manga. It even got its own DC comic book. You know, it's a shonen. Uh, you know, it's, a, it's the first and probably only show that will be a shonen and a DC, uh, you know, thing. Because, I mean, it is. It's got its own shonen manga from Viz Media and Shonen Jump. And then it also got its own DC comic. Um, doesn't cross over with the superheroes, by the way, but it's just a DC comic about Ruby. But you get the point. So, you know, and it's got its own Japanese dub. Obviously, the English dub is first um, before the Japanese dub. But it has an anime atmosphere because they, they dub the English dub like they dub animes, even though they dub first, even though the anime, uh, even though Ruby, you know, they English dub everything first. Uh, a lot of them dub everything on their own. They don't dub stuff together like normal cartoons do. So it has an anime atmosphere it, to it, despite the fact the English dub is dubbed before the Japanese dub, because obviously Ruby is made in America. Um, so it has an anime atmosphere to it. Uh, that's why I consider it an anime, just like I consider Avatar The Last Airbender an anime. We, when we discuss it in my Discord, uh, we discuss Ruby in my anime section. Um, for a reason. Um, but, nonetheless, uh, because of this, it's going to be a hard sell for Rooster Teeth, because again, really, when you think of Rooster Teeth, you think of Ruby, and that's it. Like, honestly, I don't really care about any of the other stuff Rooster Teeth does. Like, I know they had the gen stuff, the gen lock stuff for a while, uh, obviously it didn't get enough buzz for it to continue because it's been like three years and there's been no news about a new season. So, you know, to all the people that think that Gen Lock is popular, it obviously isn't because they're not doing anything about it. Um, Red and Blue, I know a lot of people like Red and Blue. Obviously that was one of the original things Rooster Teeth did. Obviously it's not as popular as Ruby worldwide. Um, you know, so really the only thing really that Rooster Teeth has that's value to someone is Ruby. Um, and really, if I'm being completely honest with you, if I was like uh, one of these companies that was trying to, to buy Rooster Teeth, I would honestly just tell at and you should just try to sell Ruby, you know, and get what you can get for that because Rooster Teeth really Rooster Teeth really is like really a dying company it's really not even the same company it once was I mean Rooster Teeth was a company that Monty Ohm pretty much founded and um, you know and pretty much him and his friends kinda just made it you know as a little fun thing you know with their own projects with red and blue obviously um, and that was what it was. It wasn't this corporate atmosphere that it is. It's not rooster. It's not the rooster teeth that they, you know, originally created. Uh, and there's really nothing about it that really is valuable. It's decreasing in money. Uh, the revenue is not there. Obviously, it's got to have gotten worse in 2020. You know, if it was already decreasing by like 20 mil from one year to the next, obviously the value of the company is just not there. It obviously probably got worse with the pandemic in 2020. There really is no value to Rooster Teeth. I would honestly, if I was them, of course this is just my opinion. Uh, I know other people will have different opinions on it, but I would just gut the company and just try to sell Ru Ruby. Because Ruby is the only thing that really has goddamn value. 
Um, I, I could I could see any of the anime dubbing companies trying to buy Ruby. I could see Funimation trying to buy Ruby. I could see uh, Senpai Films uh, buying Ruby. I could see Viz Media buying it because they do the uh, do. The, I could see Viz Media definitely trying to go after Ruby because they uh, do the English dubs for the manga comic books uh, prints for Sony Jump. Uh, so I could see Viz Media going after him because they always like to have the, uh, you know, the anime with the, the manga. I mean, obviously that doesn't always happen for them, but they like to have it both. So that could be something that they would get uh, that would have a benefit for Viz Media. Um, I could see any of these anime companies trying to go after, uh, try to get Ruby. Uh, but I can't see them trying to buy the whole company because there's really no value to, uh, to Rooster Teeth. That there's no value to uh, Rooster Teeth, you know, as a company outside of, you know, Ruby. I mean, I guess you got Death Battle too, but I mean, that's just a YouTube show. Um, you know, you know that you know in terms of actual contents, original contents for the company. I mean, it's 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 pretty much Ruby or bust. Uh, that's pretty much what Rooster Teeth is pretty much tied to now. It is tied to Ruby. Ruby is literally their butter, bread and butter. That's really where they make probably their most money out of everything that they do with merch and all that stuff um, that they got. That is where they should look to to sell. Um, you know, and they might be able to get more. They might be able to get a better deal by just selling Ruby than trying to sell Rooster Teeth. I would just, if I, I just, like I said, I don't see the value in them going forward because, again, this is a company that has had a lot of problems. I mean, they shut down the app game, okay, the Ruby app game, which that was a really good app game, by the way. I, I was playing that, uh, the Ruby. Amiibo, or whatever it was called, uh, Arena Battle, Ruby Arena Battle, uh, you know, I had an app, it was a great game, I was playing it, it's one of, one of my favorite app games to play, I liked, uh, playing those battle type things, it was really cool, um, and that game got shut down, you know, because, uh, not because of Ruby, but because, uh, of everything else, Ruby, Ruby is basically keeping everything afloat. And even these app games are getting shut down because they have to um because they have to make the profits and they're not making them because of the way everything is. And the way the you know, the direction of it is because everything is being tied to Ruby. Um and that's where their company is at right now. Is it it's it's just about Ruby now. Um, it's really nothing, nothing else. Like nothing else. I mean, most of the their original contents now is mostly podcasts of you know some of the actors or some of the people that work at the studios of Rooster Teeth. That they're, they're pretty much you know doing these different podcast shows or whatever, and that's really all they're doing. They're not doing like actual other trying to do other animation and stuff like that. I mean, they tried it with Genlock, but obviously they ain't renewing that because it didn't make enough. Didn't make enough money, didn't give them enough buzz, obviously. I mean, the show was on, on Toonami for a while, and obviously didn't do enough for them to have a new season. Hell, Ruby Chibi didn't get renewed, okay? Uh, I think that ended after the third season, you know, and that was a pretty funny show, too. Uh, you know, and a little, kind of a little spinoff, you know, of the main characters in, like, kind of a funny light. Uh, that didn't even get renewed, okay? So a lot of these things have not gotten renewed. Because a lot of these things are just not worth bringing back if they don't got enough popularity for them to warrant it or ratings and money and revenue. And they're not getting that. Ruby still gets that, so that's why they continue it, despite the fact of the terrible writing that they've been doing for the past couple of uh, seasons. Um, as we all know, the, the writing has not been really good for our characters uh, as of late. But nonetheless, it's still making enough for them to keep going with it. But really, if if this this is going to continue, it really continues with Ruby and that's it. 
I would just completely gut Rooster Teeth because it's not the same company anymore. I mean, let's see what they well, look what they've been doing the past couple of years. They raised the prices for uh, the first membership. They obviously we found out the bad practices of overtime for animators, which that really pissed me off. You know, say what you want to say about the other stuff. You know, I know a lot of people have had harsh things, more harsher than you should about Rooster Teeth. Uh, but the you know not paying animators overtime was just absolute bullshit. Um, you know that just tells me that they don't have that much money because if they're not trying to, if they're intentionally not paying their you know animators overtime, you know, and obviously all these budget cuts that they're doing from all these other things that they're trying to work on, obviously they don't have the funding, and that's just what's really sad about this even more um of course they've had some other controversies uh that really aren't their fault you know obviously that that domestic violent guy uh you know who was like a, a vp of like marketing or something um you know that really wasn't that really wasn't rooster teeth's fault you know that was just a guy who worked there that was i guess you know an abusive person um, that, you know, unfortunately worked for, uh, Rooster Teeth, and so it was bad press on them, but, um, you know, all these things that are happening to them, um, and, uh, it's just not ending well, and really, when you think about it, Rooster Teeth isn't the same company it was when Monty Holmes was there, um, it's really unfortunate that all these things have happened uh, since, unfortunately, uh, uh, you know, Monty had passed passed away. But um, it just seems like Rooster Teeth has just gone downhill ever since. Um, as a company uh, with Ruby, you know, they're doing this whole corporate stuff, and it's just not working because that's not what Rooster Teeth was. It was not a corporate company. Um, and, uh, you know, now they are trying to be a corporate company, but it just ain't working, and they're not making the profits. I, like I said, I just think, like, I mean, they're going to try to find a seller, uh, but I don't see, I, I don't know who would honestly buy it. I don't know who would honestly buy Rooster Teeth as a whole, uh, unless they're trying to sell off Ruby. Because that's the only thing that really is worth anything. That's the only thing that's worth a damn in the entire company. The entire company is not worth anything. Really, I mean, I'd be shocked if they get, like, I'd be shocked if they get any more than $4 million for it. Like, honestly, it should be less than that. Because I would not even put this, I wouldn't even put this ahead of WCW. Because WCW got only $4 million in 2001. Okay, and despite WCW's crap, crap year, or WCW's crap year in 2000, um, it only got like four million, and uh, I can't see Rooster Teeth. You know, then again, we see companies overpaying for stuff now these days, but I can't see, I can't see Rooster Teeth getting any more than that. Um, you know, and it might get more. Who knows, but I just, I can't see it, you know, I don't see how these companies overpay for this stuff, and it's really, like, next to nothing, I mean, what is Rooster Teeth? It's literally Ruby, that's literally what their company is now, they might as well try to get what they can out of Ruby, uh, before trying to sell Rooster Teeth, um, but... That's just my take on the whole situation. Um, I don't know who would buy it. I mean, like I said, anime companies maybe. Um, a lot of different options. Uh, I, like I said, I doubt Funimation would buy it because of Sony. Because of Sony trying to get Crunchyroll right now. Uh, but there are a couple different options. Um, but I just can't really see the value in the company right now. Uh, you know, in the value of it, especially since the company's value has decreased 
uh, you know, from 2018 to 2019, and then, of course, uh, you know, 2020, obviously, is far worse, so, yeah, I don't know, guys, uh, we'll see where this goes, but, um, right now, it's not looking good for Rooster Teeth, um, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys have any suggestions on who would buy it? Let me know what you guys think about the situation. Where do you think it would go? Comment, right? If you like this video, uh, if you like this video in my other videos, please subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell for all the latest content. Uh, and then subscribe. And that's about it, guys. I am the SS Ultimate Goku. Moderate. Peace.